All right, now this has been described as an extremely a significant geopolitical event. For the first time since it was conceptualized way back in the year 2004, it's taken 17 years. In 2021, the first ever meeting, the summit meeting of the Quad leaders has actually now fructified. The Quad has four members, the United States, Australia, Japan and India. In the face of the growing economic competition from China, U.S. President Joe Biden's administration is now trying to put greater emphasis on the Indo-Pacific region. And at the summit, the leaders from all four nations have pledged to work to ensure a free and open Indo-Pacific region. Now, according to the joint statement released by the White House after the virtual summit, an in-person meeting has also been decided upon between the four nations, which will be held by the end of 2021. The virtual meeting has been described as pretty historic by the leaders. Now, post the meeting, the U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that while China was not the primary focus of the meeting, the country's strained relations with Beijing did come up for discussion for a brief point of time. The Quad has announced plans to expand the coronavirus manufacturing capacity in India in an effort to expand production and also promote access to the vaccines in the Indo-Pacific region. So India will now manufacture at least 1 billion more COVID-19 doses by the end of next year. The manufacturing will be backed financially by Japan as well, as the US International Development Finance Cooperation, which provides for funding for projects in developing nations. Australia will contribute another 77 million American dollars to ensure that vaccines are not only delivered but are also administered in many poor nations in Southeast Asia. This will also be in addition to an earlier commitment to $407 million. Japan, in turn, will be providing nearly about $41 million for the distribution of vaccines, which requires careful climate control. The four leaders did discuss the challenge posed by China, and they made clear that none of them have any illusions about China. But today was not fundamentally about China. Much of the focus was on pressing global crises, including the climate crisis and COVID-19. And with respect to COVID-19, these four leaders made a massive joint commitment today. With Indian manufacturing, U.S. technology, Japanese and American financing, and Australian logistics capability, the Quad committed to delivering up to one billion doses to ASEAN, the Indo-Pacific, and beyond by the end of 2022. And also interestingly at the summit, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke about a free and an open Indo-Pacific region. He also reiterated India's commitment to democratic values. Listen in to him and also to India's Foreign Secretary Harshvardhan Shringla. We are united by our democratic values and our commitment to a free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific. Our agenda today covering areas like vaccines, climate change and emerging technologies make the Quad a force for global good. At the meeting, the leaders agreed to the creation of three working groups and these are a vaccine expert working group to implement our path-breaking commitment to safe and effective vaccine distribution a critical and emerging technology working group to facilitate cooperation on international standards and innovative technologies of the future, and a climate working group to strengthen climate actions globally on mitigation, adaptation, resilience, technology, capacity building, and climate finance. And also American President Joe Biden said that vaccines will, of course, be fundamental in driving global growth this year. The OECD also predicted that the United States economic growth, fueled by the, uh, the ARP and increased vaccinations, will be a key driver in, in global growth this year, and our, uh, our trade partners benefiting around the world as a consequence. But to get this right, we all have to focus on generating domestic demand and driving sustainable global growth. And we're launching an ambitious new joint partnership that is going to uh, boost vaccine manufacturing and uh, for the global benefit and strengthen vaccinations 
uh, to uh, benefit the entire Indo-Pacific. All right, now, a free and an open Indo-Pacific vaccines and also global supply chains. This, of course, was the principal, were the principal issues that were discussed by the Quad. And the Quad, remember, in principle, is a grouping that seeks to confront China pretty much on all these three fronts. He's working together. I wish to firmly advance our cooperation to realize a free and open Indo-Pacific and to make visible and tangible contribution to the peace, stability and prosperity of the region, including overcoming COVID-19. As we emerge from this global pandemic and the global recession, let us together create a different future. It is the Indo-Pacific that will now shape the destiny of our world in the 21st century. The Indo-Pacific will shape the destiny of our world in the 21st century. Those were the strong words by the Australian Prime Minister there. Now, the timing of the Quad is, of course, very significant. Top officials from the United States and China are meeting next week in Alaska. This is going to be the first bilateral face-to-face -face engagement of the Biden administration with their Chinese counterparts. The Quad has also firmed up its alliance. And just before these discussions, it's going to be interesting to see as to how the discussions between the American diplomats will shape up when they meet their Chinese counterparts. And also, Vyond's Sadhan Sibyl has been tracking the story very closely for us, and he sent us this report. The first Quad leadership meeting is over, and China has woken up to a new geopolitical reality. We know that the Quad member countries are now talking about uh, the first in-person meeting that is expected to take place later this year, perhaps on the sidelines of the G7 summit uh, in the United Kingdom or maybe in Washington, because Washington is also keen to host the first meeting of the Quad leaders. But largely, there were two major outcomes. First, in terms of practical cooperation when it comes to COVID vaccines, the Quad uh, vaccine initiative with India's uh, their major manufacturing center will be producing 1 billion vaccines uh, for uh, the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, the first consignment will go to Southeast Asian countries. Uh, and uh, the other big uh, talking point or the outcome was uh, on uh, the free and open Indo-Pacific. That clearly means uh, that China needs to follow the international rules-based order or else it will face a backlash. But largely, we know that China has been name-calling Quad, and that, of course, is not going to help China because Chinese actions eventually led for the consolidation of this grouping, a grouping that was formed after the 2004 tsunami when the grouping came together to provide humanitarian support to countries in the region. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.